I will start with tapping. So you will use three fingers, the index finger, thumb and the ring finger, I mean the middle finger. Come down the clavicle, just below the end of the clavicle, you will tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. At the sternum, the slightly pointy bone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come down your ribcage, just where the ribcage starts to turn, just below that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Just where the ribcage ends, just below that, in the front side of the body. Just below where the ribcage ends in the front side of the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Today we will do energy boosting zip up. Keep your hands in front of you with the palms facing the body just at the lower pelvic area. And mentally visualize you are pulling in cosmic energy. Slowly raise this hands. Bring it right up to your Guru Madhya and release the energy into your Guru Madhya. Once again, keep your hands in the lower pelvic area facing the body, palms facing the body. Mentally visualize you are pulling in cosmic energy, raising it up from the level in the body, dropping it into your Brumadhyaya. Last round. Pull the energy up. Raise it into your Brumadhyaya and release. Now we'll do a Tibetan practice. You'll keep both the hands in front of you, with the palms facing the body. Both the fingers are very close to each other. Palms facing the body. In this position, palms facing the body. Now, I'll give the instructions. You will start breathing in. And when you start breathing in, you will mentally visualize you are taking in pranic energy from the cosmic field. From your right fingers, it goes all the way down, comes back behind your arms and comes into your spinal cord. And then you will hold your breath. You will spread this energy all through the body. And then when you are breathing out, you will feel that all the toxins, all the waste energies is flowing out from the left hand. It comes out in the front, goes out from the left fingers. So get ready, start breathing in from the right fingers, pranic energy, move it along the hand, turn it around, let it come up the arm, rest into the spinal cord. From there, spread, hold your breath, spread it all through the body, energizing each and every cell in the body. As you breathe out, push out all the toxins, all the ailments, all the diseases from the body, move it out from the left arm, go down to the elbow, turn around, let it come down the left hand, out from the fingers, allow it to be sacrificed into the cosmic field. Hold your breath, feel your entire body is purified and energized. Once again, start breathing in from the right fingers, cosmic energy. Take it all the way to the spinal cord through your right hand. Hold your breath. Spread it all along the body to each and every cell, brain cell and body cell in the body. Energize each of them. As you breathe out, flush out all the toxins, all the ailments, all the diseases from the left arm, down the elbow, 
down out from the fingers into the cosmic field. Hold your breath. Feel your entire body is rejuvenated, energized, and you're feeling great. Now slowly release your hands and relax. Let your shoulder become relaxed. Let your breathing become normal. Then we'll do cross tapping. So keep the hands crossed. Keep it at a level where when you raise your leg, it can touch your palm. So hold it in a position where you're comfortable. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. Relax, take some breath. Let your breathing become completely normal. Then we will do hand rotation. So keep the hands by the side. We will do both the hands together. So move the hands in clockwise direction. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again, relax. Feel the effect of what you have done on the shoulder arm, the shoulder blade, your back muscles. How do you feel energetically? Then we'll do shoulder rotation. So keep your hands on your shoulder with the fingers pointing down. And then very slowly breathing out, let both the hands come down, let the elbows touch each other. Then raise it up, breathing in. Very slowly, breathing down, breathing out, come down, breathing in, take it up. Three, four, five. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Now sit down. Let's straight one last practice before we get into meditative position. Now keep your hands together. Breathing in, spread the hands out. Breathing out, bring them together and rub them. And then move your, hold your breath, move your hands from inside the legs. Take it from outside the legs. Take it from the side of the body. Take it up to the shoulders. Spread it out again. Once again, bring the hands together. Breathing in, spread them out. Breathing out, bring them together. Rub a little bit and then take it down from the inside of your legs, caressing yourself, outside of the legs, side of the body, top of the shoulders, hands out. Last round, hands together, breathing in, spread out, breathing out, bring them together, rub the hands to create some energy and then take it down. 
bring it from the side of the body spread the hands out and relax so be in yogic breathing in whichever meditative asana you can sit padmasan sukhasan whatever and start breathing in expanding the abdomen first then expand your chest continue to breathe in expanding the shoulder and the clavicle as you breathe out collapse the shoulder and the clavicle let the chest collapse then take the abdomen inside as much as possible closer to the spinal cord and be in this till we start the class formally chant mantra om seven times make your sankalpa and chanting om creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences antibodies and viruses i am creating three layers of protection the outermost layer consists of six friendly creatures an elephant behind me a peacock in front a tiger on my right side a lion on my left side an eagle above my head and a black tortoise below me inside of that have a big ring with balls of fire i am lighting on the balls allowing a fire wall to go up all around me the third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra om that i'm chanting take your awareness to muladhara chakra at the perineum cervix for ladies between the anus and the genitals genitals for men four petal lotus red color take a deep breath for om chanting ah Take your awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra at the spinal terminus, coccyx bone, six petal lotus, orange color. You know the rest of the visualization. Take a deep breath. Increase your pitch further. Take your awareness to Manipur Chakra, ten petal lotus, yellow color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Oh Ek revenues to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center 12 petal lotus green color increase pitch further take a deep breath Oh 
Take your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat fit. 16 petal lotus blue color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Take your awareness to Apnya Chakra behind your eyebrow center. Two petal lotus indigo color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Take your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus white color, increase pitch finally, take a deep breath. Shanti Mantras Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavahai Tejasvina Madi Damastu Mavid Dishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. Keep your hands near your chest. Follow me in making your Sankalpa. I am chanting. Mahamrityanjay Mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other. I can feel your grace, my Lord, penetrating deep into my body, energizing each and every brain cell and body cell, keeping me in pristine health at all times. I bow down before you, Thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping my body in a healthy condition, befitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form. I promise to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body In a befitting condition, befitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Ivabandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamritat Om Triyambakam Vichamahe Sudhandim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Ivabandhanan Vrityor Mukshi Yamavritat Om Triyambakam Vichamahe Sudhandim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Ivabandhanan Vrityor Mukshi Yamavritat Om Shanti 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 Hari Om. Just before you release your hands, pay attention to how you are holding the hands. Are you holding them too tight? Are you creating unnecessary effort in the way you are holding your Linga Mudra? Just become conscious and aware. See if you can release some effort. 
if you can loosen the grip if you can hold it gently and calmly once you become aware of it very slowly disengage your hands release your hands then stretch your legs and then fold it once or twice one leg at a time and then sit back in cross leg position for short meditation just become aware very gently of your body the posture in which you are sitting what mudra have you on your fingers choose whatever mudra you feel like gently close your eyes become aware of your breathing when you breathe in become conscious of the breath entering your nostrils trace it all the way to the lungs visualize the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the lungs and trace the trajectory of the breath from the lungs to the nostril as it moves out of your body and just pay attention to how your body is are you absolutely steady is there slight vibrations and movements in your body what do you feel is the position of your head and the neck do you feel you are pulling it forward a little bit is it tilted to one side on the left or the left the right or are you taking the head a little behind can you mentally visualize and try and align it in the center position and pay attention to your shoulders are your shoulders raised up are your shoulders stooping down are your shoulders being pulled forward or are they being pulled back toward the spine what do you see that you are observing can you bring it to a central position and relax do you feel tension in your shoulders can you mentally relax it? and then feel that you are like a tree your legs have gone under the ground like the roots of a tree your torso is like the body of a tree your hands and your head and your neck are the branches of the tree you are as steady and as rocky as a strong broad tree is no amount of breeze can shake you no amount of wind can shake you you are absolutely rock steady just be in this awareness and slowly move your head slightly from side to side move it up and down a little bit and then release your legs stretch your legs fold them up once and then we will get ready for today's practices we are continuing with practices from lesson 1 to 14 so stand up we'll start from standing and come down to lying down practices one by one the first practice for today is kati chakrasan <coughs> you can also start understanding once i demonstrate the practice what anatomy is involved 
And if you have any problem in the anatomical areas that gets activated in the practice, then be careful, either avoid the practice or reduce the extent to which you will practice. So first, let me just simply demonstrate and then I'll give you instructions, etc. You'll be breathing in and raise both the hands up at the shoulder level. So it's the shoulder that gets into operation. So if you have any shoulder pain or neck pain, you might experience discomfort. So it may be either you reduce the extent to which you'll raise it or be careful and be within your zone of comfort. At this position, you will hold your breath. As you breathe out, your right hand will go from behind and come out at the waist on the left side. The left hand will just watch first and the left hand will come on the right shoulder. You will give a complete twist to the entire upper torso and you will turn your face to the right side and look back. Let the twist be as comfortable as you can. Hold your breath in this position. Then breathing in, you will bring both the hands back at the shoulder level and hold your breath. And then breathing out, very slowly with awareness, you will bring the hands down. So generally, there is no contraindication for this particular practice. So most of you can by and large practice. This practice gives a wonderful twist to the spine. It works on the shoulder muscles. It works on the waist muscles and the hip joints. And it also works on the neck region activating the thyroid and the parathyroid because you are turning to the entire right side. Now I want you to just stand comfortably, close your eyes, mentally visualize this entire practice. Imagine yourself doing this perfectly the way it was demonstrated. See yourself breathing in, both the hands are going up at the shoulder level perfectly. You are holding your breath comfortably. As you're breathing out, you're swinging to the right side. The right hand is nicely going from behind, coming out at the waist on the left side. And the left hand is going on the right shoulder. You're twisting the body to the right side. And you're looking over your right shoulder at the back, giving a nice, comfortable twist to the whole body. You're holding your breath. You're releasing it slowly, breathing in, bringing the hands at the shoulder level. And then you're holding the position, holding the breath. As you're breathing out, you're bringing both the hands down. Now that you have mentally visualized it, you're ready for the practice. So slowly keep your hands by the side of the body. Breathing in, bring both the hands at the shoulder level. Hold your breath. Breathing out, swing to the right side, right hand from behind, left hand on the right shoulder. Twist to the right side as much as you comfortably can. Don't strain. Be aware of your body. You're relaxed. Your back is relaxed. You're not straining. Breathing in, come back. Hands at the shoulder level. Hold your breath and hold your position. Breathing out. Very slowly. Bring both the hands down by the side of the body. Wonderful. Now we'll be practicing on the left side. So breathing in, bring both the hands up at the shoulder level. Hold your breath, hold your position. Breathing out, swing to the left side. Left hand comes from behind, right hand on the left shoulder. Turn the upper part of the body to the left side. If possible, try to look over your left shoulder. Hold your breath. Breathing in, come back with the hands at the shoulder level. Hold your breath. Breathing out, very slowly bring your hands back. So one last time on your own, start. Wonderful.
then on the left side slowly be completely aware where are you turning how are you turning what is happening at the shoulder level be completely conscious and aware of your movements and then relax once you have completed just let your body come back to a relaxed state let your breathing become normal now we are going to do what is called a trikona asana two angled pose that is called we'll be keeping some distance between both the feet watch first watch you're going to interlace the fingers behind and then you're going to make the palms facing outside the body away from the body now keeping the hands in this position you will take a deep breath in and then as you are breathing out you will bend from your waist keep looking up till your body is horizontal to the ground i'm sorry when you are bending down let the hand come up and when your body is horizontal to the ground that time you can look down at the floor let the hand go up as much as it can the body is parallel to the ground you don't bend more than that you're coming parallel to the ground hold your breath breathing in you will slowly bring the body up hands down and if you want you release your hands relax it and let the breathing become normal before you will practice the second round okay so do you know also first mentally visualize how you are interlocking the hands at the back how you are turning the palms facing outwards mentally visualize yourself bending very wonderfully from your waist and your hands are moving up the palms are facing the ceiling the body is facing the ground parallel to the ground or horizontal to the ground as you are moving down you are looking up when the body is parallel to the ground you are looking down at the floor you are holding your breath you are holding your position and you are breathing in your body is coming up wonderfully hands are going back into the neutral position you are holding your breath then you are releasing your hands now that you mentally visualized it get ready for the practice interlace the hands at the back keep the palms facing outside away from the body take a deep breath in as you breathe out bend forward when the body is parallel to the ground look down at the floor take the hands as much as you can comfortably take without straining hold your breath breathing in very slowly start taking the hands down and the head up when the head is completely up the hands must go and touch the back of the body hold your breath and then release your hands relax for a little while let the shoulder become relaxed if you want just rotate the shoulder a little bit then get ready for the second round interlace the fingers at the back let the palms face outside take a deep breath in as you breathe out start bending forward hands up when the body is parallel to the ground look at the floor hands are raised up palms are toward the ceiling hold your breath breathing in come back hold your breath breathing out release your hands relax and sit down for the next movement the next practice will involve sitting in vajrasana and those who have any knee problem should avoid sitting in vajrasana all the others can practice 
and those who have a knee problem who cannot sit in vajrasana can practice the same sitting keeping your legs straight and in this position you will take your hands down you will keep your hands with the palms on the floor fingers are towards your body okay the rest of the instructions remain the same as for people who will sit in vajrasana all right now for those who can sit in vajrasana the rules of this particular asan are you will keep your legs together and then keeping the toes together you will spread both the knees away keeping a 45 degree angle to your hip that is how the toes are together once you are in that position you will bend a little forward move the hands with the palms going on the floor fingers are towards your body now in this position you will rotate your tongue inside and the tongue will touch the upper palate of your mouth and then you will breathe in through your nostril after you have taken a full breath you will stretch your tongue out as much as you can and then you will breathe out making a ha sound all along all right so get ready in position now this is called simha kriya so keeping the toes together spread the knees away those who are sitting straight can keep the legs straight keep the fingers in the same position you are giving a nice stretch to your spine at the back you are when you are tilting your chin up you are giving a nice massage to the parathyroid and the thyroid glands and by activating the inner uh, larynx and the pharynx this practice is very good for your voice box for general communication and it prevents laryngitis pharyn the problems of the pharynx all these are benefited from this practice so get ready roll your tongue inside the up tongue tip of the tongue is touching the upper palate and breathe in from your nose now put your tongue out breathe out making a ha sound all through when you finish breathing out close your lips and roll back your tongue once again and repeat second round continue last round and then release your position and relax stretch your legs forward in this position we are going to practice meru vakrasan so first watch you will be taking both the hands to the right side if possible both the hands are parallel to each other and then you will be when you are moving to the right side you will be lifting the left leg crossing it over to the right side so the left foot will cross over come close to the right knee 
the body turns to the right side and your hands are straight and you're looking at the back side and then you will slowly come back and then release your legs straighten it up now you'll keep the hands here when you start you will breathe out when you're turning you will hold your breath and you will breathe in when you're coming back so get ready first mentally visualize the practice keep both the hands leg straight both the hands on your knees and visually imagine you're taking a deep breath in mentally visualize you're turning to the right side lifting your left leg crossing the foot over placing it at outside of the right knee you're turning the upper torso to the right side both the hands are close to each other near the buttocks and you're turning your entire upper body to the right side you're holding your breath you're breathing in releasing the position coming back you're bringing the leg back into position stretching it out and you're relaxing see how wonderfully you've done it mentally now that you've practiced it mentally get ready keep your hands on your knees take a deep breath in as you breathe out turn to the right side lift the right left leg up hold your breath hold your position as you breathe out bring the hands back stretch the leg out and relax now we'll practice on the left side so keep both the hands on your knees breathing out lift the right leg bring it outside take the hands behind turn from the left side look behind you breathing in bring the leg back hands back into normal position and relax one more round on the right side keep both the hands on your knees breathe in deeply as you breathe out turn to the right side cross the left leg over the right knee keep both the hands as close to each other as possible hold your breath and then breathing in release your leg release your hands come back to normal position and relax the last round on the left side breathe in and start very slowly come back relax slowly feel the effect of the twist on your spinal cord this actually releases this i mean it stretches the vertebrae against each other therefore any compression that is there between these vertebrae on the nerves they are released there is increased blood flow into the vertebrae into your neck cervical region so it's very effective in toning up the entire body because all the nerve communications are improved substantially by this practice release and relax now we are going to practice yoga mudra ideally this practice is done in padmasan but if you cannot sit in padmasan just any cross leg position is perfectly all right even if ardha padmasan is there that is also all right whatever is your comfortable zone right now that is what you will do now on the back side you will be bringing the hands together the right hand all the four fingers will go from one side the thumb will go from the other side and hold the wrist of the left hand and the left hand is closed with the thumb inside so this is how you hold the position and this hand is right at the coccyx at the lower end of the spine so this is the starting position when you are holding all right now when you are holding the hand in that position 
you will first breathe in and tilt your chin up the moment you are doing this chin up you are immediately working on your thyroid and the parathyroid glands then you are holding your breath as you breathe out you will bend forward continuing to look up when you are close to the ground you will slowly bend the head down and try and possibly possible take your forehead to touch the ground if that is not possible go wherever you can comfortably go but there should be no additional strain on your body so be careful watch your back as you are practicing this this practice stretches the entire spinal cord gives a nice massage to all the digestive organs particularly if you can keep padmasana these two heels are lightly raised and when you bend forward these two heels press against the lower abdomen and massages the organs which are there and they squeeze out the blood out from there that is point number 1 when you hold padmasan or when you are crossing your legs you are reducing the supply of blood to the lower legs and that blood is additionally flushed into these organs and the stale blood which is there is pushed out and fresh blood rushes into all these organs at the abdominal area and the abdomen carries the vital organs of the body and all these gets a nice massage in this practice that's why it's very good and it's also a very relaxing practice and generally we say that when you're doing yoga mudra also visualize that you're throwing out all your anger out from the body and sacrificing it to mother earth so this is a practice that my guru normally advocates if you want to control your anger if you have uncontrollable anger you want to reduce it then practice yoga mudra with this visualization that you are throwing up all the anger and offering it to mother earth she takes it away from you you will start calming down your levels of anger will be much less so try it out if you can so get ready in position and for the back you know how to hold the hand at the left hand wrist with the right hand take a deep breath in tilting your chin up breathing out bend forward wherever you can reach surrender all your anger to mother earth let her take it away from you hold your breath breathing in slowly come back start tilting the chin up and when you're fully up tilt the head back release your hands and now the next round before you start the practice mentally visualize yourself doing the practice see how you bending wonderfully forward your forehead is actually touching the ground even if it doesn't touch doesn't matter visualize it is touching the ground and then get ready for the practice take a deep breath in till the chin up a little bit bending forward continue to look up till the body is horizontal to the ground and slowly till the head down surrender all your anger to mother earth feel the complete relaxation of your back very slowly breathing in come back start tilting the chin up continue to look up till your body is vertical then bring the head down hands back on your knees if necessary stretch your legs out fold them up now we we'll do this 
a little bit somatically and see whether we can improve the range of movement. <clears throat> so you're going to continue to look up. I mean, your eyes will look at the ceiling, but your head will start tilting down. So since you have to continue to look at the ceiling, you can come only this much. And then come back. Now keep the head and the eyes facing, looking at the ceiling. You can come down even less because the face is also turned upwards towards the ceiling. Come back. And now try the original practice and see if you can bend down a little more than what you did the first snap. So start breathing in, chin up. Breathing out, bend forward. Breathing in, come back. Breathing out, relax. And then release your legs. So generally when you practice this, with these variations somatically, you should be able to reach down a little more than what you normally do. Now lie on your back. We'll first practice, before you lie on, please watch. We'll first practice Pavana Muktasan, which is a counter pose to what we did just now. So, you will be lying down and then breathing in, you will bring both the legs up. You will hold your breath. Breathing out, you will bring both the legs closer to the chest. Wrap the legs around with both the hands. If possible, the fingers will catch the opposite elbow. Hold your breath and bring your chin up. If possible, Chin will touch the ground. I'll show it from the other side as well. So you're lying down, breathing in, legs up, breathing out, both the legs closer together, wrap. Hold your breath and bring your chin up. Hold as long as you can or breathe normally. Then breathing in. Bring the head down, take the legs up. Hold your position, hold your breath. Breathing out, feeling each of the lower vertebrae one by one touching the ground and then slowly with complete awareness, bring the legs down. Then when you're lifting the legs up, you're creating a nice pressure on your lower abdomen. This is also a good practice if you want to lose uh, some bit of weight. And it's also good to remove constipation, flat loosens, etc. It turns up the complete digestive system. So get ready. Mentally visualize your breathing in and lifting both the legs up. Mentally visualize, bending both the legs, bringing them closer to the chest, wrapping them around, hugging yourself nicely. Hold your breath and pick your chin up. Try to take the chin closer to the knees. Hold your breath. Breathing in, lower your head. Release your legs and straighten them up. Breathing out, bring the legs back, rest on the ground. Now that you're mentally visualized, very slowly get ready, breathe out completely. Breathing in, bring both the legs up. Hold the legs straight, hold the breath. Lovely. Breathing out, bend both the legs, bring them closer to your chest. Wrap around as much as you can, giving yourself a nice hug. Bring your head up, chin closer to the knees. Now breathing in, lower your head, raise your legs straight up, hold your breath. Breathing out, release vertebra by vertebrae, 
and then release your legs very slowly to come and touch the ground lovely one more time on your own everybody is practicing wonderfully particularly the slow release so you can practice on your own start now get ready for the next practice which is uttana padasan this also i'll show you from the side you'll keep both the hands by the side of the body palms facing the floor breathing in you will bring both the legs up If possible, you will catch both the toes. Hold your breath. Hold your position. Breathing out, you will bring the hands down. Bring the legs down. This is the basic pose. On this, to enhance your brain power, to enhance both the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of the brain working all the time. We have made a variation to this. which is you breathe in you bring both the legs up cross the legs cross the hands so basically your right hand is catching the right toe left hand is catching the left toe but you are like a scissor hold this position hold your breath and if you want to hold for a longer time breathe normally and then very slowly release uncross the legs uncross the hands bring the legs slowly down so i suggest you breathe normally and try to hold it for half a minute i'll give you a count so you try and hold it as long as say say release that will be half a minute all right so get ready first mentally visualize you are breathing in lifting both your legs up you are crossing them wonderfully you are raising both the hands reaching out to the toes crossing the hands catching the right toe with the right hand left toe with the left hand and then you are slowly releasing it bringing the leg down wonderfully now get ready for the practice breathe out completely breathing in lift both the legs up cross the legs cross the hands try to catch wherever you can if you can't catch the toe don't bend the legs don't bend the legs at the knees if you can't catch the toe catch somewhere lower that's okay cross the hands and hold breathe normally release if you want to release otherwise hold till i say release release slowly now this practice is very very good for reducing tummy reducing excess weight etc this practice also tones up the entire abdominal area so last round start and then slowly release and relax we'll do one counter pose which is bhujangasan so you will be lying on your tummy 
your hands are at the shoulder level you breathe out completely breathing in you are lift your body up straighten your hands tilt your chin up look at your at the ceiling then breathing out very slowly release your hands bring the forehead to rest on the ground so get ready hands under your shoulders breathing in lift your head up hands straight look at the ceiling hold your breath very slowly breathing out release slowly last round breathing in come up very slowly breathing out release relax lie on your back for what is called body awareness shavasana so lie on your back just become aware of your own body how exactly are you lying and mentally relax your whole body from the top of the head to the tip of your toes mentally relax your entire body and then bring your awareness to your right foot to the exclusion of the rest of the body focus your attention completely on your right foot what sensation can you feel there does it feel warm does it feel cold does it feel tingling can you sense the blood flow in the foot only the right foot nowhere else check your mind if it has gone somewhere else don't get annoyed but bring it back to focus on your right foot how exactly is the foot position with relationship to the ground is it lying along the ground is the foot raised up from the ground in what directions are your toes pointed just pay attention then bring your attention to your right heel only your right heel to the exclusion of every other part of the body can you feel the way it is touching the ground what kind of pressure is there what sensation can you feel there is it feeling cold is it feeling warm if you are under the fan can you feel the breeze of the fan touching the heels then bring your attention to your right lower leg from the knees down to your heels what sensation can you feel there become conscious and aware then bring your awareness to your knees and your thighs what sensation can you feel there cold warm tingling now can you feel the entire blood flow on the complete right leg from your toes up to your hip joint and you feel the blood as the heart pumps the blood into this area can you feel any difference in your sensation check your mind if it has wandered don't get annoyed gently bring it back
Can you feel the bones in the body of, in the right leg? The bone from the hip to the knees, how it is supporting your thighs. The bone from the knees down to your legs. How they are supporting the weight of the body. Can you feel them? How strong are the bones? Now gently repeat this on your left leg. Start with your foot. Focus on your left heel. Focus between the knees and the heels of the left leg. Focus between the knees and the hip joint. Feel the blood flow in the entire left leg. Now bring your attention to your spinal cord. Start scanning vertebrae by vertebrae from the coccyx. How is it in relationship to the ground? What sensation can you feel at the coccyx? What sensation can you feel at the sacrum? In lumbar one, lumbar two, lumbar three, Number four, number five. Then thoracic T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9, T10, T11. Teacher. In cervical, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. Now pay attention to both the hands from the shoulder down to the fingertips. What sensation can you feel? First, pay attention to right hand. Then attention to the left hand. Now bring attention to your neck region. What sensation can you feel? Now come to your face. What can you feel on your cheeks? What about your lips? What can you feel there? Are the lips dry? Are the lips moist? Are you tightly holding them? Are you loosely keeping them? Then pay attention to your tongue. Is the tongue bathed in saliva just now? Or is it completely dry? Or is it semi-wet? What is the state of your tongue right now? Can you feel your nostrils? Can you feel your eyes and eyebrows? Without opening your eyes, can you rotate the eyes inside? Can you feel the rotation of the eyeballs when you try to rotate it inside? Can you move it from one corner to the other corner? And slowly let the whole body sink in.
allow the whole body to be relaxed completely as i blow the shang feel the effect of these vibrations as your body relaxes more and more Become aware of the body. Become aware of your breath. Very slowly, raise both the hands over your head and stretch the whole body by stretching the foot forward, hands behind. Then turn to one side and gently sit up. Get ready for Om Shanti. Take a deep breath in. असतोम सद्गमय अमसोम ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा मृत गमय स्वस्तिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भवतिर्भ